Hey, what's going on, everyone? Matt here from the Matt Film Show. Welcome, guys, back to a brand new video. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys like, and let's get right into today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts on Creed 3. I finally got to see Creed 3, and I'm giving you, going to give you guys my thoughts on it. So, um, Creed 3 is the third installment in the Creed franchise, or uh, the seventh installment in the Rocky franchise. I think it's the seventh one. And there's been five Rockies and Creed, Creed 2, the eighth installment, or seven, right around there. And, um, and this is the first time being directed by Michael B. Jordan, Michael Ryan, Ryan Googler, who has done Black Panther and Black Panther Wakanda Forever, directed the first one. And I, I, but I don't think he did the second one. I think someone else directed Creed 2. And now this is Michael B. Jordan's directorial debut, his first ever time being on the director's side. And I think Michael B. Jordan did a very, very great job for the first time. You know what I mean? I think he he understood what he needed to do. You know, and I think he knows what he needs to do in it. And um, um, I think Michael B. Jordan did an, an amazing job with it, man. I really had a blast. I had so much fun watching Creed 3. Um, it felt um, weird not seeing Sylvester Stallone in this, not seeing Rocky in it. Um, it felt very, very weird, you know, just seeing Adonis Creed in this movie. You know, I mean, not seeing um, Rocky, who's a part, a huge part of this franchise, who started this franchise. You know what I mean? And for them to continue without him, it's kind of like, man, you know what? At some points, you do miss him. You know what I mean? You do miss him. It's like, man, you know what? I miss, I, I miss using Rocky. I want Rocky to come out. There's maybe some scenes where you think the Rocky is there, you know, or some scenes that, that Rocky should have been there, but he wasn't there. You know, it sucks and see, sad to see that he was not there. But every, this film is, 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 is um, a great movie, you know what I mean? And without Rocky, without Sylvester Stallone, does not make the movie better or worse. The movie's great with or without him. The movie was amazing without, with or without him. I love these Creed movies. I love these Rocky movies. I hopefully they make more. Hopefully they make a number four as well. I heard that they're doing like a TV series on Amazon or something like that. But I really do hope that they continue these and make the fourth one as well. Um, we have to wait and see. Hopefully, cross our fingers, um, they get to make another Creed movie, right? Great performances, man, from, from Tessa Thompson, from Michael B. Jordan. Jonathan Majors has been becoming a, a, a very great, not great, but one of those actors that comes out in every single movie. You know, I mean, he was a and Creed, um, Damien Creed, Creed's brother. You know what I mean? He was Kang the Conqueror in, 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 uh, in Ant-Man, and as well as he's going to be Kang in Avengers King Dynasty, excuse me, King Dynasty, you know what I mean? Um, he was also in Loki season one as as um, He Who Remains, as as um, different variants of Creed, you know what I mean? And, and him just getting the spotlight in a lot of movies, him be, being in a lot of these franchises, there's a lot of actors who like this. That's how the Wayne Johnson started, you know what I mean? Being very successful and he wanted, he joined the Fast and Furious franchise. Obviously, he's no longer in Fast and Furious, but he was in the Fast and Furious franchise. He was in all these big action-packed movies, becoming popular in every movie. He was in, he's in Jumanji, right, with with, with um, Kevin Hart and, and Karen Gillan. Uh, I'm pretty, I think they're also going to make another Jumanji as well. Jumanji 4, I think they're making another one as well. Anyways, um... You know what I mean? He's kind of becoming like like the Wayne Johnson, um, Jonathan Majors. And and, and that, that's good to see. I'm not saying it's bad. It's great to see, man. You know, seeing that he's going to love this recognition. You know what I mean? So I, I really enjoy him. You know what I mean? Um, this movie was so much fun, man. I, I Like I said, I loved Creed. I loved Creed too. I loved this one so much. And and I enjoyed watching this movie. I have a blast watching this. 
have a blast watching the Rocky movies and I hope that there's more man. I hope there's a Creed 4. Um, I know they talked about make, them making TV series on Amazon because Amazon owns Creed now, right? They own the Creed franchise, they own MGM, Metro, Goyard, something, whatever the, the company's name is. Metro, Goyard, May, Mayard, May, Mayard, or somewhere around that, those lines, pronouncing them wrong, but my bad. But it's owned by Amazon. Amazon owns the, the rights of Creed, and I guess they're making like a Creed series on Amazon. Oh, they want to make a Creed series on Amazon. Let's see if they actually do, or somewhere around there. Be great to see. Uh, if you enjoy boxing, even action movies, or in general, Michael B. Jordan, or enjoy Rocky, and what th this franchise is great, man. You know what I mean? You're gonna love this franchise. You loved Rocky, you love Rocky, you're gonna love Creed. You love Michael B. Jordan, you're gonna love this movie. You love boxing movies, you're gonna love this, man. You know what I mean? Great film overall, highly recommend it. Had a blast watching this movie, had a blast watching the first one and the second one. Um, this movie is so much fun. The, interact, the interaction between um, Creed and Damien, um, Adonis and Damien, both brothers, you have brothers, you know what I mean? It's great to see them both interact with each other. Michael B. Jordan and King himself, um, Jonathan Majors interact them both into this movie. It's great to see Tessa Thompson. It's great to see interacting with her as well. Um, just this movie is so much fun. I had a blast watching this help. I had a blast watching the first Creed. Have had a blast watching Rocky movies. I had a blast watching Creed 2, man. And, um, I enjoyed this movie so much and I really do hope that they come out and make a fourth Creed movie. Uh, but yeah, man, I highly recommend it. You know what I mean? Totally 1000% recommend this movie. Uh, have, you're gonna have so much fun with it, man. Like I said, there are gonna be some parts where you're gonna be missing um, Brockman, Sylvester Stallone in this. And it feels weird. It does feel weird that he's not in it. You know what I mean? But we all know why he's not in this. So, um, yeah, man, this is my thoughts on Creed 3. Let me know what you guys think about Creed 3. Have you guys seen Creed 3? Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys love this movie? Do you guys hate this movie? Dislike this movie? Like it? Whatever it is. Um, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys like. Thank you guys so much for my support on my YouTube channel. I've been trying to take it down on my YouTube channel and little bit by little. I know I've been releasing videos every two two days. I'm a, I'm going to start doing that. Maybe start releasing every three to four days. Less content in a week. You know what I mean? Um, if that's okay with you guys. You know what I mean? But yeah, thank you guys so much for you guys to support my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, peace out.